Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and uh, we left off last time in Bioshock Infinite at Finkton, and this man in the green shirt here uh, won the auction, but um, that well, black guy over there decided he wanted the job, knocked him unconscious, and then the uh, the auction master said, uh, "Oh, okay, you won the fight, you can have the job." And now they're gonna they're starting to uh, panic because they uh, well they want more jobs but they're all out of jobs. So there we go. And of course this man is still well knocked out cold for some reason. Well because he got knocked kicked in the face. Uh, let's continue on here because there's a lot of uh, stuff in this area and not all of them is uh, well friendly towards us. Um, just gonna loot around a bit. There's another locked door here to check and open Elizabeth. up with Elizabeth. And in the meantime, just check out the dogs here. Because these guys, I mean, this is dangerous. Why are you hanging off the edge here? I know you're looking for a trail, probably, but that's freaking dangerous, man. Uh, another lockpicking lock kit with two lockpicks. Which is going to come in handy. And that's pretty much it over here, I think. Let's enter the uh, building she just unlocked. Because uh, I think, yeah, there we have another cipher. For which that we need poster. the code book, of course. There's another cipher on it. Huh. So we need to find the code book? Yes. Hmm. Looks like everything's been impounded at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. So everything has been impounded at the Good Time Club, and that's where we'll need probably money? find the uh Catch. the code book. That'll and the Good Time Club is something we're gonna head towards in a minute. But first, uh, I found a lockpick. You did? Oh, there we go. Indeed. Four lockpicks again, which is great. So let's head back outside because there's nothing more for us here at the moment until we find the code book. Uh, I think there's another area over there. Do you know what Daisy Fitzroy and her anarchist for now, we're still well, not incognito, but Fink doesn't mind our presence here. So, sniper rifle? No. I'm going to take the sniper rifle. Um, we could buy a few weapon upgrades. I might actually go for the damage boost on the volley gun. Yeah, we're gonna do that. There we go. On the volley gun, because I rather like the volley gun. I haven't used it yet, but we'll do that in a minute. So, on the left we here, we have Chen Lin the gunsmith. So, uh, this is where we need to go. Chen Lin, gunsmith. So let's head inside. I think there's another Voxophone here. Yeah, from uh, Daisy Fitzroy. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. There we go, Daisy Fitzroy. Uh making her, um, well, interest in Booker known. So let's enter the gunsmith shop. That was a quick load, there we go. Just saving the game. So this is the, the gunsmith, so there's a lot of uh, fire raging here. Um, but I think there's another, yeah, there's a shotgun, a bit of shotgun ammo over here. And a few supplies, because of course we could find a bit of ammo here, since this is a gunsmith. Um, let's head upstairs and have a little chat with the man, shall we? Because, uh, if we can get our guns and get out of here, that would be nice. More stuff along the way. I've read about this. That's Scott Mabuda. Who? The founder of Buddhism. He spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Indeed, because, uh... Well, the Lee family, Chen, Chen Lin, Chen Lin probably, the Lin family clearly uh, worships Buddha instead of Comstock, which might actually rub him the wrong way. So let's head up the stairs. And yeah, doesn't seem like there's anybody Hello? here. Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Yeah, Someone good question. this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. And then somebody starts crying downstairs. There's someone downstairs. Yep, indeed. So uh, I think I looted everything here. 
which means you can safely go back down. And when we go back down, there's somebody here in the shrine. So let's talk to uh, what I can only assume is Mrs. Lin. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Hello? Okay. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker will find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fritz Roy help Chen Lin? Well, we're here to help. Good flying squad. Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter yep. of fact, it is. Right, let's figure out where this good time club is. Indeed, because we've heard about the good time club because the uh, supplies were uh, put over there as well. So we might find the code book over there as well. So give me a second. And there we go. Back outside. Doesn't seem like there's anything uh, wrong here. Funny new ideas. What the hell was that? I think my camera shook a bit. But, oh, okay. Oh, there's a handyman. For some reason, he's uh, tearing up the place. Uh, I'm gonna go for Shock Jockey because this is the first time we're actually fighting a fucking handyman. Ow. I'm gonna have to go up, 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 up. There we go. Quickly gonna go into the... There is a menu for this, yeah. I'm gonna go into my gear because I know I have something that works better against... Gives me more damage against uh, handyman. Ah, oh, there we go. Instead of fleet feet, increases damage against handyman by 50%. So let's equip that for now and go back no down. So there we go, because there is a trophy to kill a handyman with only shots to his chest. Oh, that was next, next to it. There we go, that was in the heart. There we go, that was also in the heart. Let's go back up. Go go back down. Please go away. And let's uh, give him the run around a bit. So he's holding his chest. Oh, I don't know if that was a chest shot. Ow. I'm almost dead. Almost dead. Let's go over there. Looking for... I think there's a health kit around here somewhere. Thought there was, thought there was. There's body guns over here. Let's reload. Let's reload. Where is he? He's stuck here. Jesus Christ. That's not a headshot. That's... There we go. Oh, he's gonna explode. There we go. That was in the heart, but that wasn't all shots to the heart. So yeah, that's a bit sad, but we got the trophy yet. Much care for you, Mr. I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, I think I'm gonna have to f shoot these things as well, or are they friendly at the moment? Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. You protected me, a job's a job. So yeah, Elizabeth wants to make amends with Booker, but Booker doesn't seem to care all that much. Um, let's get back to the Vulligan. Well, back to the Vulligan. Haven't used it yet. Because I wanted to kill the handyman with my hand cannon. I think the sniper rifle would have been even better. Uh, and there was one over there, actually, now that I think about it. There we go. Here, little piggy. Kills with the volley gun. Because the volley gun... I think there's a, a pig displayed on the volley gun somewhere. Like, it has some kind of connection to pigs, but... Not really sure about that. Let's go with possession. 
and gather up some money. So the Good Time Club is actually over there to the left. That's the Good Time Club. Uh, but we're gonna check around here first. Are there any more upgrades? No, they are not. And let's loot this place a bit. But this, this is interesting. Yeah, I've indeed. Heard that song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. So this is one of the first uh, mentions of how it, well, why there are that many uh, familiar songs, but this? future songs in uh, Colombia going around. Because that's because uh, artists didn't, well, didn't think it was such a bad idea to uh, just steal songs from the future through these stairs. The stairs have been popping up along uh, Colombia. And some of them were in, uh, well, in close proximity to uh, a musician. And he took that to heart and just uh, copied the songs and turned them into songs that Columbia started to like as well. Um, I think there's nothing here aside from that there. Oh, there's a wallet here. There we go, 45 coins. And that's pretty much it. And a little silver eagle purse. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's head to the Good Time Club. There is that a... For fuck's sake. Seriously? Didn't notice that before. There's a sniper rifle over here. Let's pick that up. And take the gear over here. Tunnel vision. Aiming increases damage by 25%. Hip firing reduces damage by uh, 25%. So let's just take the gear. I'm actually going to swap back my gear here as well. So we don't need the handyman nemesis anymore. Let's just go with fleet feet for now. Uh, and let's go down. Because we're going to need to head into the uh, Good Time Club Booker DeWitt audition today. Which is interesting because uh, I don't remember us uh, signing on for an audition. Let's take a look around. So it looks like this is some sort of uh, theater. Head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. Okay, just call me Booker. So let's enter the... You know what? I think there's another foxophone over here now that I think about it. Um, over here in the corner, because there's not much in here, but there is of course another machine. I'm just gonna take, nope, take the money, take the money, thank you. That was 50 coins, and there's the voxophone I was talking about, another one from uh, Daisy Fitzroy. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock, and well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they're invisible. So there we go. Daisy Fitzroy uh, notices that she uh, can disappear if she wants to just because of her skin color. So uh, let's enter the Good Time Club. The Good Time Club. The show is about to begin. Boy. You know, the best kind of interview is one where the applicant doesn't know he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Indeed, but let's take a look at the kinetoscope first. Crime comes to Shantytown. Finkton worker housing has been plagued by panhandling vagrancy. The poor people. Destruction of Fink MFG property. So they're uh, breaking down a vending machine, a dollar bill machine, and worse. People with guns shooting at each other. Fink blames his head of security. The boss has no patience for failure. The end. So Fink blames his uh, head of security. We don't know who his head of security is just yet. Anything else I can buy here? Not for now. Not for now. So let's head into More the money. club Cash. itself. Thank you, Elizabeth. How much is it? That's quite a bit. Get the hell out of here. Indeed. So we have the opportunity to uh, activate some uh, 
Dares. Who wants to disappoint the other applicants? Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. So there we go, trying to uh, fire around a bit to get some explosions going. Jesus. Apparently I haven't killed anybody yet for now. We're getting excellent results! Ooh, that was straight in the face. What was that? That sounded... I think from over here. Oh. There we go. And then I think I'm going to use the sniper rifle on the... Uh, the uh, big guy here. Oh, oh shit. Okay, that was a, a lot more damage than I anticipated. But... There he goes. Yeah, there he goes. That is it! Uh, that sort of ambition, my boy, will serve you well at Fink Industries! I still have enough ammo for the, uh, the Holy Gun. He's a former devotee of Lady Comstock! But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. Pick this one up in the firing fair for a song. Hello? There we go. Good show. Nice. Oh, hi. Something soon. Jesus. Is there more of them? Where the did they come from? I've got ammo. There we go. Fire a few shots before getting more ammo from Elizabeth. Jesus Christ. Come on, dudes! If I can fire at them directly, they're, they're a lot more efficient. That's all I, have. I think that was another kill. Skeet shoot! So he was in the air, that's why I got that special kill. Gonna have to be careful here because this guy has a lot of dirt, obviously. So let's go with possession and take one of those dirts. Go ahead. And then let's take the RPG. Salt. Okay. Thank you. Rejoice. For death has no sting. I think that has a pretty big sting. Oh, God damn it. Um, um. What you sow. The Lord judges I act. I think I can, uh, if I just quickly jump down the here, I should be fine. Not without mercy. He's not. Pick up the salts along the way. Where the hell is he? What you sow? I'll see what else I can find. Oh shit! I think I can actually take over the uh, mosquito because I think the things are called mosquitoes. If I'm not mistaken. Oh my! Quality work! 
Seriously? I'm gonna have to take out the uh, this thing here. This is gonna fail in a second. Chuck chuck you again. There you go. I do say I like the cut of your jib. Let's that open up the map kits again. DeWitt, you know, when your name was first passed to me, I wasn't quite sure you were the man to do it. But now I can say with certainty that I was quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fitz Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. I will get what I want. I'm just gonna have to take a look around here because there's a few big guys that spawned. Uh, hand cannon. That actually not be that bad, especially since I have the ammo for it. So there's a lower area here that contains a few uh, extra things. Can I get the money? Give me the money. Thank you. So, and there's another cadet scope here. The first lady. And I think this one, yeah, it's just a movie again, so I'm just going to show you uh, the screens and I'll get out of it already because I get it nonetheless. Um, let's go in here. There's the toilets, but there's a few interesting items here as well. Mainly money, apparently. Uh, and then on the other side, more money? No, nothing. Ah, look, there we go. So we're at nine already, which is really, really good. And then there's not just the toilets down here because there's another uh, bar I think it's kind of a bar down here uh, which houses a few interesting items mm. there's another bucking bronco here and she probably found something as well because she's talking about something interesting so silver eagles another lockpick down here making us have 10 which is gonna come in handy rather soon and then of course another infusion let's go with health because uh, health already. doesn't take a long time to go down, as you might have seen already, especially on hard difficulty. Uh, so that's why we uh, I don't really upgrade health, because, yeah, it always stays that way. Shields are a lot more reliable, and shields come back. Uh, more salt, I don't think I really need all that. That's just a normal shotgun, so I don't think there's anything here. Because we're not yet in the areas with the secret entrances. Um, the only thing we still need from the Good Time Club is the code book. And I don't have that yet. I'm actually, I'm not really sure where the code book should be, actually. I think it's a bit further on, if I'm not mistaken, in the, the next room over. Um, so let's check that out. Let's go on to the stage. And see if we can't get uh, Mr. Lin out of here. Booker, there's a door over here. And the there down. is. So backstage, let's pick up the voxophone nonetheless. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But... Not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. So Fink's brother was the one who stole the songs from uh, the future, as uh, we would put it, and used them for his own gain. Um, and Fink then got the idea to use the portals for something else as well. What that is, we don't yet know, but I'm guessing we'll know in a second. Um, hello ladies. Um... And another execution. Break the neck. There we go. Yeah, sorry Elizabeth, she doesn't really like that when you do that. 
Um, there's another door over here. With more... You wanna hold on to this? Oh, thank you. That was accidental. There we go, more money, always handy. And then the carbine. I like the hand cannon, let's go with the hand cannon for now. So, uh, a wanted Vox Anarchist. That is weird, right? Because we know uh, Prescott uh, Dawes, I think his name is, was, uh, well, tasked with killing Daisy Fitzroy, and he was even attacked by them. So why would he be uh, wanted as a Vox Anarchist? That is rather weird now, isn't it? Um, let's loot this place as well. There's a few things over here. Still no codebook, sadly. There we go. Still no codebook, but um, I think it's even further than... Let's take a look around here. Um, there we go. In uh, number 9, Chen Lin. But there's another name here that might seem familiar, because in number 6, Cornelius Slate is... Because uh, we left Slate alive, and that means that he got captured by the... Uh, well... The uh, police Elizabeth. over that here. Take but a minute. There Makes we go. The Open that up. Like Fink. Really? Man, that was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. There Indeed. You go. So Booker is. Um, well, regrets what he did before when he was working for the Pinkertons. But yeah, he couldn't really help that now, could he? There we go. Okay, that was completely missed. I think the guy just went higher. I love how far they go back when you fire at them with a hand cannon. Because it is really a hand cannon, so it has a very, very big kick. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. So uh, that's a recording of Chen Lin himself being tortured to, uh, yeah, tell uh, tell the, the police here where uh, Daisy Fitzroy is. Um, I don't want to want to check this out because I think is this? Yeah, there's the code book. There we go. There's the code book. That's uh, let's pick that That's up. That's the book for the clock shop. Indeed. So use the cipher to crack the Vox code. I could go back now, but since we're uh, quite a ways back here, I'm not going to take the time to do that just yet. This is interesting. This is a bit symbolic. So there's a bird in a cage here. Remember the choice we needed to make between the bird or the cage? Well, uh, kind of a bit of an Easter egg for that. Um, I think there's another... Yeah, I think I picked that up already. There's nothing here anymore, I think. So let's keep going. Another Devil's Kiss over here. Let's pick that up to just fill our salts again. And then keep going, because this is just a pistol. Yeah, let's keep going. That was a weird motion. No privies down here. And there goes his head. And there goes this man's head. No biggie. No biggie, as long as you can one-hit kill these guys, we're fine. Let's play Tom Stokes' audio diary. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel? have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? Yeah, Comstock trying to uh, good mouth his uh, actions towards uh, black people, Chinese people, and everything in between. So, um, yeah. It's not right. It's definitely it's not like right. But here. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. So they kind of lobotomized Slate because you can't really uh, help him here. I'm actually wondering whether you can kill him now. <gasps> I suppose that was what he wanted. Yeah, you can. You definitely can kill him now. And I just did. And I think, yeah, Elizabeth doesn't really mind at the moment. I'm just going to pick up the ammo now because I kind of put one in his head. 
Goodbye, Slate. Goodbye. So, uh, there's a few other cells here. Some of them are empty. Some of them are filled with a corpse. Uh, which is not, which is not very nice. This place, this place is really, really gruesome. Um, because it's a kind of a political prison. Let's see. So there's one that requires five. Okay, so let's open that up first. That. Because th that will be the optional one. Oh, I'm searching through the barrels here really quickly. Bit of money. Let's open that up. And there's another dead worker in here. With nothing on his body, but there's a piece of loot here, a piece of gear. Newton's Law. Landing of a skyline knocks back nearby enemies. I'm just gonna take that, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that. There we go. Uh, flies, thank you. Anything else here? Not a lockpick or something? Just that piece of gear. Okay. Got a lock, needs picking. That won't take but a minute. Let's open that. That door, and I think we, yeah, we did all the cells. No, 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 no. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, you so this is where things start to get a bit weird. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it, not hyenas. Yeah, lions walk with lions, not hyenas. So he says he has been looking out for his own interests and that our uh, deal with Fitzroy won't work anymore, hinting at what is to come. But not spoiling anything, not spoiling anything at all, but the blood might be a sign. Uh, I don't think, is there anything here? I don't think so, because this is a very story-heavy scene. So let's, let's go in here. Is this... Is... why is the light not going on? Because I need to, I need to press the button. Never mind! There we go. Yeah, indeed. So let's uh, investigate Chen Lin's dead body. Late. God damn it. This is what he meant. Yeah. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did. I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. And there they go. So that's the first time we actually we see them disappear. I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Open the there. So now we actually have the chance to change our outcome. So Chen Lin in this world is dead, but as the Lutesses just mentioned, he's dead from this angle, but if now. you go over here, he's not dead, he's gone. So meaning that Chen Lin is probably alive. So we could go to this alternate dimension and try to see how that works out, but what else will change? We don't know. So let's go through this portal. There we go. There's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Yeah, because the assets are, have been seized by Vox, of, uh, Vox sympathizers, but we can hear a lot of commotion outside, which wasn't there, of course, in our version of Columbia. We could pick up our first repeater. I'm not going to do that, because uh, I have a better weapon at the moment. And we're going to be losing those uh, soon anyway. So let's head back up. So now if we go back up. Yeah, there's a lot of people shouting at the gates here. And it looks like they're all Vox Populi. Uh, trying to get in. Uh, and a lot of people trying to rummage through the rubble here. Let's go back up. And see what else has changed. 
Um, because there's a bit of a difference in, well, pretty much everything. So this is still a prison, but it looks like it's been uh, expanded a bit, because this, uh, these things were in cells before. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot more people in the prison now, which isn't good, of course. Come on, you piece of horseshit. Tell me about Daisy. What? Scarfield says cut him loose. They're bringing his tools to the lockup. Uh, keep him clean, I guess. Why? What are you? The Columbia Gazette? The chink's wife got friends in high places. Come on. We need to sell. So, they set him free in this dimension. And that also indicates that, well, they set him free because of his wife. His wife has friends in high places, but we've seen his wife. His wife is also uh, an Asian woman, so, uh, well, an Asian. So uh, that would be weird in Colombia that she would have friends in high places, because we've seen- I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. So there's uh, this room has changed a lot as well. There's a lot of books here now and a lot of posters uh, from uh, Daisy Fox, uh, Fitzroy from the Fox Populi uh, recruitment posters, kind of. Um, the items here have stayed the same, so that's for now is the same. I think that's more for gameplay purposes than anything else. Uh, but there's again, there's a lot of red cloth. But if we enter this room, something weird is going on. Because over here... Killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're I'm disgusted. All bleeding. Sick, 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 sick. So, I want to discuss this because this is very interesting. So, these people remember being dead. Which means that we just didn't cross into another dimension. We, yeah, we overwrote our original dimension with this one. So everybody here has memory of their previous versions. So we didn't just cross over into another dimension, we just completely destroyed the original dimension and laid this one on top of it. So this is why those people here remember being dead while yeah, they shouldn't be remembering that if we're just in another dimension, if we just crossed to that dimension. Um, which changes this a lot. So let's just pop them in the head again. So that they don't need to suffer any longer. Because we can't even loot these guys, because we've done that already. Which is interesting, isn't it? What was wrong with them? They remembered. Remembered what? Being dead. There we go. They remembered being dead. So uh, let's find a way out of here. I'm not going to end the episode just yet because I'm looking for a safe point as well. Um, I know there we what go. What is going on here, Satsma? Any last words? Has my head of security. I told you. You're one of the fire. How these two slipped out your men? And what they were doing? There we go. what you wanted? What the hell? Kinda of stuck in the corner here. Let's... I wanna know where these guys are first, but... Ow. I'm on the right. Oh, there he is. No, he isn't. In the other world, he was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. This whole business makes my head hurt, and it would hurt mine as well, Booker, because uh, he's just experiencing a lot of changes to everything he's known so far. Um, let's go back outside and see what else has changed. There we go. I think, yeah, this has changed as well. So before, there was a staircase to the right, uh, but I think we couldn't... Yeah, we could go to the left. But uh, there was a kinetoscope to the left, which is gone now. There's a kinetoscope to the right, gunsmith set free. There we go. And uh, Chen Lin is uh, happily working on his uh, weapons. All charges dropped for Chen Lin. What could have led to this reversal? There we go, there's his wife. 
The smart money is on his brother-in-law, Fink's head of security. That's also something new, so the head of security is now Chen Lin's brother-in-law. Again, something really weird, because I don't think Fink would uh, take an Asian man as his, uh, well, his uh, head of security. I think these items are all new. Um, let's head outside and see what else has changed. The, the Good Time Club. There we go, seems like everything is still the same. Um, and I see we're auto saving, so that's really good. I'm gonna take a little break. So when we get back, we're gonna see what else has changed in this new dimension we've created. And uh, yeah, hope I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>